way. Damn. Okay. All right. So, um, obviously, with everybody being here, you might not be up to date on the latest that's been happening in um, HMG's no deal Brexit planning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, just a quick update on, on how we've been tracking safety and stuff. First of all, I think it's the third year in a row that nobody has been to hospital and the fifth year in a row that nobody has had to go to hospital. Right. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, we had one lost phone which was recovered, uh, zero major incidents, some minor aspects of dickishness, but mostly within the realms of sort of, um, you know, general sort of neurodiversity type stuff rather than anything else. Anything deliberate. Uh, do you want to do the tractor stats? Oh, now these are fun. Those 44 co four coin things, um, 195 of them were not traded for beer. Hey. And I think it's fair to say the soldering table was as busy as ever. There was yep. rarely a seat free. So the team there did really, really well. Um, you had 1,260 coffees. Um, that is actually broken down a bit. Have you got those stats later? I haven't got the broken down stats. Okay. I thought we wanted to get through All it quickly. Right. So very quickly then, because um, this is fun for coffee nerds. Oh, um, we used, uh, let me see, 18 kilos of espresso beans, 48 liters of full fat milk, 6 liters of oat milk, Mm. And two kilos of that beautiful Guatemalan filter. So very, very fine on that stat. I, I'm afraid I do not and cannot track the number of tea bags. Ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, um, beer, 10 barrels of beer is, I think, a record. I think, um, I think it's close. I don't think any of us can remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's the highest number of GNTs drunk since 2015. Pretty good. Rum, five bottles, and lots of drunk. Awesome. Okay. So, um, bring a buy stall didn't do as well this year, but obviously we weren't pushing it as heavily. So we had about 875 quid in terms of donation buckets and sales. So for all of you donated, thank you very much. For all of you who went and bought something, thank you very much. Um, Checksec very kindly agreed to put in £300 into the kitty, so thank you very much to them. That money will go to feeding people at a time when they're going to need it the most. That makes a subtotal of 1175 which, if we match, brings us to £2,350. So you might want to know what this actually means. As a result of what we did for them last year and many other activities, almost 12,000 people were fed in this borough. It's the equivalent of 120,000 meals. But that's not just what they do. They did holiday camps for deprived children, home budgeting courses so people could learn actually how to do finance, and they also did mental health projects. And I think the Mental Health Village here shows that there is a massive interest now in actually mm -hmm getting some knowledge around that. Um, it's fair to say, I don't know if she's in the room, but the lady on the table was delighted. In fact, she said she was thrilled. So thank you all. All right, so uh, the December training dates are up on the website. We'll go and put the courses up when we're handing out the prizes. Uh, but training is going to be second to the fifth, and the Hoot Nanny is going to be on the sixth. So details are now on the website. So I think we can start with some, some of the competitions and prizes. Mm -hmm. So we had a smart card competition. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Uh, thanks to Andy and Fusion, who are in the photo. Um, Basically, the idea was that you had to create something using the smart cards that we've got that is a security function that isn't made worse by the world's most insecure smart cards. So um, we had one entry. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> one. So, uh, and it was null card authentication. So the idea is that if the card is blank and inserted, promote the user to root. <laughs> because 
if you're a hacker and you find a card on the floor, you'll look at the data on it. So if there's no data on the card, you'll think, aha, there's nothing happening here, is there? No. So, uh, yeah, so it's, a, it's an anti-hacker mechanism, and I would have fallen for it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to step up and pick up your Atari portfolio, David Busby. Hey, where the hell's that? <laughs> wow. There you go. Well done. Very good find. How much would Hacker One have paid for that? <laughs> More than I would have. <laughs> All right. Um, and then we have the uh, 44 con CTF. Ah, yes. So. Uh, Cody and the guys are still keeping it running for a bit longer, but there was a very clear winner. Um, there were about 10 teams on the leaderboard, and uh, the winner was Tamas DXW. So we should have... Oh, no, Cody's got them. So, Cody, can you come up and uh, present the number one prize to Tamas DXW? Excellent. Come up, 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 come up. Love the t-shirt. There you go. Excellent. Beautiful. Thank you for participating. So it asked me to keep the Victor speech under 10 minutes, so in that spirit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Thanks, guys. We're done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. All right, so last year this was a bit longer, so we just thought, screw it, we'll try and get to the prizes as quickly as possible. So December training, um, the, the courses that we're running are up there in case you want to have a look. All details are on the training site. And uh, I guess now we're going to give away some stuff for the drawers. Mm. Box is there. Okay. Um, so feedback forms we love. We do actually read every single one of them. It all goes into, well, what, what do you think, a spreadsheet? Um, and we do actually pay attention to what you say. Now, of course, sometimes we misdesign the box when Steve can't fix it for his hand in it. But other than that, right, okay. Now, the rule is, if you're actually hit, put, if we pull it out and you're here, you win. If we pull it out and you're not here. All right, HD. Can I pick some? I think they get a ticket. They get a ticket next year. Sorry? They get a ticket to next year. Do they get a ticket next year? Yeah, they oh, get a okay. ticket for next year. Wow. Come on up. Now, where's Natalie? Blind, blind, blind. Transition. Right. Hang on. Don't run away. You see the lady with her hands in the air there? Go talk to her. Thank you. All right. Yeah, because he's just won free entry to next year. All right. Is the next one a ticket as well? Yeah, how about 44 Con Connect in December? Uh, we could do. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Why not? Okay. <laughs> what if he's already done training this year? <laughs> How these things happen? All right. <laughs> if you've already done training, then you've not won a prize. <laughs> but if you haven't, <laughs> Matt Foster, come up. <laughs> so, so, have you done training with us? You have. <laughs> Congratulations on not winning anything new, Matt. <laughs> Should we just let him come next year? Um, we can do. Shall we give him something from here as well? Yeah, that'll work. Should we get him in jail? Uh, yeah. How about a GQ Electronics Geiger counter? <laughs> Are you... Oops, sorry. <laughs> Your health matters. So anyway, you'll need it if Brexit comes. Take great care of it. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Should we do prizes yeah. from there? That way we know sure. that people probably won't already have them. That's very true. That's how she did. Feedback forms or sponsor passport? What do you think? Um, feedback. Let's do three or four feedbacks and get rid of some of these. This... Whatever the hell this is. Oh, digital signal processing system. It sounds shiny. It's a Baofeng radio for... Uh, Yomi. Yomi, you here? Five, Yomi. four, three, two, one, fail. Okay. 
Let's try again. Hmm. No, he can't win. I don't trust this guy. No. I reckon that he's done more than one. Mm -hmm. All right, Costa Zainos. <laughs> Costa? <laughs> 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 well, you get a nice brown box. There right. we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. They're, um, they're Baofeng radios that are almost legal to operate in this country. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Almost. <laughs> All right. So, and the other Baofeng goes to Jonathan Perez. Jonathan Perez? Yay! Come on up. Awesome. Right, there's one of those. And those next, or? Ooh. I don't even remember what it Oh, now I remember what it is. You do? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these are definitely not legal. Awesome. <laughs> Nobody tell the cops. Wait a minute. Let me open this up here. Yeah. Oh, no. They're totally legal, just as long as they're not used. <laughs> I mean, they're all getting delivered to your house, that's why I ordered them. Right. Okay. All right, who we got here? I've been on a watch list for five years. This really doesn't make any difference. Last year, we gave out how to make your first nuclear bomb. Previous year, we went, we had, I think it was how to poison your neighbor using kitchen <laughs> ingredients from your kitchen. Um, your yeah. first rifle. Yeah. All right, so I think that's Tony Shannon. Yeah. Yeah? Tony Shannon, you here? <laughs> so that's... See, it's very small, but apparently very dangerous. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's a mobile GPS tracking unit. Yeah. That just has a little magnet bit that goes under a car. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you use it on your car, it's all fine. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Oh. We should give out some nice start stuff. All right. Ooh. Here we go. Blank. Let me get these out. Uh, I think the designing BSD root kits book is reserved for malware tech. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cracking codes with Python, Alex Trout. Alex Trout? Anyone Going called Alex? Going twice? No. Any Alexes? <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look. Uh, tip, tip, tip. Sarush. Sarush? Is, is that Sarush Dalil? Awesome. Yay. Well done. And basically, so you get the book, and here's a bonus t shirt, because why not, right? Awesome. All right. Okay, depends on who wins. Either male that one, female that one. Are we allowed to give him on? What if we give him the the uh, the, the top one? <laughs> <laughs> All right. David Busby's won a book. The smart <laughs> the smart girl's guide to privacy. <laughs> There you go. Is that good? <laughs> All right. So it could have been silence on the wire, but that's for our next winner. That's Sergio. Sergio S. It's <laughs> another blank. It's a bit of a slow starter, but stick with it. <laughs> All right. What we got next? 
Should we give away something good? Uh, let's do a blend. Let's do these as well. Yeah. Do that yeah. and that. All right, okay. Because it's a little book. And I think this is appropriate as well. So, £15 book gift voucher and Michael Warren Lucas's epic erotic literature, <laughs> Savaged by System D. <laughs> Dylan Wheeler. No. Is he not here? Should have been here. I think you I think you should tell him that he should have came or should have come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um Catherine. Do we have a Catherine? <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. Good. Excellent. That's the book you want, and that's for the book you actually want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's pick something else. Easy. Uh -huh. Now, these are nice, and these are definitely legal for now. <laughs> All right. So this is the Keezy RFID duplicator. It's a tiny little RFID duplication thing that fits on a keychain. Um, right. Adam Bird, coming up. Oh, Adam, there you go. And that may be a t shirt and voucher. Is that fair? Shall we pop something else, like one of the books as well? Uh, it's a little book, though, so that's a bit of a bonus compared to the last one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, let's make this the last feedback form one. Yeah. All right. Now, if you thought Savage by System D was sexy. Yeah, oh, this is so appropriate. Bedazzled by blockchain. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Welton, come on up. <laughs> Make sure you didn't buy those t shirts. <laughs> All right. Should we do some sponsor passports? Yeah. So um, we do the sponsor passports, and uh, well, for obvious reasons, we want you to talk to the sponsors. Um, some of you took till today to realise that you actually talk to the sponsors to get free coffee and free tea. This is a good thing, actually. It's always been like that. Why? Why is it on the Thursday? No one talks to the sponsors and gets their vouchers, and they all get used on day two. It's really weird. Hmm. Next year, please use them on day one. All right, what we got here? I have no idea. It's in a box, and it's kind of white. And ah, oh, this is yes. the Car Hacking Village mug. Oh, hang on, for the first sponsor thing, though, we, do we do something else? Could that be December as well? No. No. Okay. Let's, let's do a decent prize for the first sponsor one, then. Okay, how about this one? Is that, is that good? Yeah, yeah that'll do. Yeah. Uh, Ian Robinson, you here? If so, yeah. So... B10 Nano, FPGA dev kit, but um, basically it's the basis for a thing called Mister, which is a really insane hardware emulation system. Um, yes, you can do all kinds of signal processing, but it's also really good for emulating computers as well. There's a whole load of retro cores available. That's the Car Hacking Village mug. Yeah, there are two of them in here? No, it's just one. Just one, okay. Hmm. Okay, so we've got those books left, loads of t-shirts, loads of these, one more of those really interesting things. Let's get the GPS tracking one and maybe steal this computer book. Yeah. And that's Arcacel. Yay! On the right. Very good. Awesome. Thank you for filling it in. Very good. Enjoy that, but be safe. Okay, let's get some more. Uh, do you want to pick a prize? A retro game dev and a t shirt. Okay. Uh, John Killalea. You hear John? 
Going once, going twice. All right. Uh, James Hillhey? James Hickey, sorry. Yeah. So, what have we got left? Five of those. All right, let's. Of those and those books. A few more to from book, those. maybe? Uh, this one. This is a biggie. Yeah. This one's nice. All right. Uh, so, that and a voucher. Uh, Nuno Oliveira. Now, with this Brexit thing, you might have to go to space. Yeah. There, your, there, if you can get hold of it, that's how you fix it. Enjoy. Okay. Okay. Um, shall we maybe do the mug and a book and a voucher? Mug, book, voucher. Yeah, we can do that. All right. So the mug is the Car Hacking Village mug donated by Ian, who did the Car Hacking Village workshop upstairs. Uh, every time he goes to a conference, he does a different mug design. So this one is exclusive to 44Con 2019. And there's only 10 of them. One of them was on sale on the bring and buy stall. So Noor Shirazi coming up. Noor Shirazi. Nope. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> How many times? David, how many times did you, uh, did you do a sponsor passport? <laughs> <laughs> He's good, though. Yeah. All right, James Tassini. Yay. <laughs> You're welcome. That won't fit. You'll like that. And that's to get the book you really want. You All can't right. drink it, by the way. All right, then. Um... How about we go for the uh, Keezy voucher, Doom? Oh, yeah, okay. Andrew Cunningham. It would be fun. Yeah, no, that's cool. Okay, it's already one one. There's this, um, one more of those. Okay, so how about we do anything else? Uh, oh, that's it, we're almost out. All right, um, how about the Game Engine Black Book? Yep. And a voucher. Um, yep. On a t shirt, there you go. All right, so Game Engine Black Book Doom, voucher, t shirt, Dan Wallace. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. All right. Uh, how about Smart Girls and a voucher? I think we just see who wins and then we give All the right. appropriate one. Okay. That worked last All time. Right. Um, Smart Girls Guide to Privacy, uh, Joanna Orlovska. Hey. Thank you for coming. All right. And then uh, designing root kits and a voucher. This is largely appropriate. Barry Miles. <laughs> Barry, you here? He's in the pub. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can find somebody else. Um, oh, not Nuno. Bruno Morrison. Okay, so um, this glove was the prize from NCC's challenge, and they left it with us, fools. <laughs> but they said that um, someone called Pascal won it oh, with 90 Steve, points. We've forgotten something. We forgot something? Yeah, next one out gets a free entry to next year. Okay. Yep. Amir? 
I think if he's one of the guitarists, I think they've all gone. Yeah, well, that's that then. <laughs> Tim Todd. Almost certainly in a pub. Hey. Hey. Excellent. Well, that's you free for next year. Where's Nestle? That lady waving her hand. Yep, go talk to her. She's not waving her hand. Mm. Yes, she is. Wave your hand, Nestle. There oh, you go. No, 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 You're no. good now. <laughs> All right. So, um, so if there's a Pascal in the room who did the NCC challenge and got 90 points, do you want to come pick up your gauntlet? There you go. Excellent. Well done. Congrats, man. Thank you. All right. And what are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? Um, now I first don't worry about how I will get that under the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm almost looking for it right now. So. Okay, go, 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 go. You want... <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so, so we really wanted to thank the crew, um, some of whom put effort in all year round, some of whom put effort in at the event, but all of whom put effort in. So I'd like to thank very much uh, Sam, Ian, Wibble, Nick, Natalie, Marizel, Anton, Thomas Nicholas, King of Kiskov, Kiskovska, sorry, Tim Wilkes, Cooper, Steve Wilson, Aidan Mitchell, John Borman, Steve Cap, Gordo, Shannon Powell, Ryan Ward, Steve Spence, Gabe Comic, Errol Tan, Alina Tan, Fushin, Tom Danger Langford, Danger is his middle name, <laughs> <laughs> Piers Tucson, Dan Nash, Thomas Sobota, and Nick Hitch. Thanks very much, guys. So next year, 44Con is 10 years old. It's also 2020, the year of hindsight. <laughs> and we thought that we'd go back in time to predict the future. So we're going to look at what the future of security will be from the year 1999. And all we'll ask you to do is follow the white rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I think that's the end of the show. Yeah, nights to 11th. Um, you got that electronic calendar thing? Yeah, reminder in to buy your ticket in, when are we launching the sales? Uh, probably January. January. Yeah. January for early birds, limited number, and then March, April. Somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Airline ticket pricing, buy near the end, more expensive, buy at the start, cheaper. All right. There we go. Thanks so much for your time, guys. Um, and if you wouldn't mind fucking off, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs>